Today, I am going to introduce you to a nice looking silver coin that can come back to bite you if you don't know enough about it. It's very easy to overpay for this coin. This is the 1780 Maria Theresa Thaler. Originally made in Austria, but later it was struck in many cities throughout Europe. And that German word Thaler is where we get our English word dollar from. And on the front, we see Maria Theresa, the Empress of Austria, and on the back is this very cool looking two-headed eagle wearing a crown with a shield crest across its body, and the edge of this coin, we'll see how well this picks up, it has nice lettering and raised designs as well, so it's a very stunning looking coin. First, the specs are as follows. It's approximately 83% silver and 17% copper. So that's kind of an interesting composition. And the total silver weight is almost exactly three quarters of an ounce of silver. Now here's the tricky part. All of the coins that were minted between the years 1741 and 1779 were made in the year denoted on the coin. But after 1780, this coin continued to be made, but they left the date at 1780. So you can have one of these coins that was minted in, say, the year 1980, but it will still say 1780 on the coin. And in short, there's absolutely no way that you can tell what year a 1780 Maria Theresa Toller was, was made. The This coin could be five years old. It could be but not likely 200 years old. There's no way of telling. This coin has fooled many people who thought that they were getting an old coin for a bargain. And this is where your common sense needs to kick in. This proof coin I bought in 1999 for $10. And just think for a minute. Would you be able to buy a coin, a proof coin, that is over 200 years old for $10? Probably not. And yet, I regularly see this coin listed on eBay with titles like Extremely Rare Old Coin. Well, first of all, it's nowhere near rare. They're very common. And most likely, it's not all that old. So if you can find one for a few dollars over the spot price of silver, that's the most you should pay for this coin. So today, with silver at $34 an ounce, the bullion value of a Maria Theresa Toller is $25.50. I might pay $30 for this coin, but I would not pay $35. Think of the Maria Theresa Toller as a cool-looking bullion coin, not a numismatic rarity. And by the way, some countries did have these coins as legal uh, coins that circulated, so you will find ones that show considerable wear. This one as opposed to the proof coin was uh, circulated somewhat and that's why you can see the dirt around the lettering and whatnot and uh, but they did circulate in quite a number of countries and one final note there are some coins that were minted in 1780 that were actually made in 1780 but they are extremely scarce and the way that you can tell if you have an original or this common restrike is to look at the back and if you look at the abbreviation of Austria on the right side of the coin, A-V-S-T, the, the restrike has the second letter as a V. If you'd have an original, that V would look like a U. And I like this coin. It's one of my favorite coins that I have. And I think many of you will like this coin, but I just don't want you to be tricked into thinking that you're getting something really old or really rare because most likely it is something really new and really common. On another note, if you are watching this video before February 19th, 2012, be sure to check out my silver giveaway video and enter the contest to win one ounce of 999 silver. Once again, thank you so much for your time. I'm very happy that you watched this.